We're at the end of another week and there's a massive Nintendo eShop sale running right now. There are a ton of games on sale at all-time low prices and I'm excited to share them with you all. We have new releases and modern classics, fan favorites and hidden gems. I mean, it's an incredible week for sales as we roll over into April. Welcome everyone, I'm JP and before we get started, I want to take a moment and thank everyone that's become part of the crew here on the channel. I enjoy making videos and helping people find games they might not have heard of before, but I also enjoy hearing from you all as well. Sometimes you'll recommend a game to me in the comments that I've never heard of either, and that's what I love so much about having the channel. We get to chat about games and help each other out every week, and it's pretty awesome, so thank you. As a way to show appreciation, we'll be doing another giveaway in today's video. As always, all you have to do to enter is just leave a comment down below so I can add your name to the list. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to ensure that you don't miss out for the winner announcement in the future. And with all that said, we'll go ahead and get started. Please enjoy the video. Alright, we'll start with Alien Isolation, which is a single player survival horror game with over 20 hours of gameplay. It does have a pretty big download at almost 18 gigs to install, so keep that in mind. Now the story follows Ripley's daughter as she investigates what happened to her mom all those years ago. It's absolutely one of the more scary games here on the Switch and perfect for fans of the genre. This version includes all of the DLC as well, making it a great value. Right now it's on sale and matching an all-time low at just $14.99. The deal ends on the 9th of April. Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection is a package containing two great games from the popular franchise. It has a download around 12 gigs and combined you get dozens and dozens of hours of gameplay. The bundle includes both Black Flag and Rogue as well, and you get all of the DLC, so you're getting a ton of content for one nice low price. In addition though, you do get some console enhancements like HD rumble and motion aiming, and of course that's always nice. Right now the collection is on sale for just $14.79, matching an all-time low. The deal ends again on the 9th. Astabros is a newer 2D roguelike here on the Switch and has that retro charm to it with gorgeous pixelated graphics and a soundtrack to match. The gameplay itself is a lot of fun and the game does offer two-player local co-op, which you know we always appreciate. The maps are procedurally generated with each run changing a bit and as you take out different enemies or bosses, you'll earn coins that you can use for permanent upgrades at the end of each run. There are also a ton of secrets to search for, and I think this is a game that might have flown a bit under the radar, but in my opinion, anything under $10 is a great value. Right now though, you can pick it up for just $5.19, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 9th. The download is just under 100 megabytes. Battle Chasers Night War is a single-player action RPG with a download around 2.6 gigs, and the main story should last more than 40 hours to wrap up. Now this is an RPG featuring deep dungeon diving, turn-based combat, and a rich story. You'll have a huge open world to explore with hidden caves and dungeons full of secrets. One really cool feature is that you'll have to learn to master each character's special skills in order to complete some of these random dungeons that you will encounter. Fans of the comic series will feel right at home as you get to form a party of 3 to 6 playable characters, and they're all from the comics that were released back in the 90s. If you're interested in this one, make sure to check it out before the deal ends on the 9th. It's currently marked down to just $11.99 and matching an all-time low. Berserk Boy is a brand new platformer for one player here on the Switch. It has gorgeous pixelated graphics and the soundtrack is next level. It controls well here on the console. Moving around the levels feels great, as does the combat. And the standout feature for me were the Berserk abilities that you get as you play through. The main story should take maybe 3-4 to four hours to complete, depending on how many of the secret missions you discover along the way, but there is a good bit of replay value as well. Right now it's on sale for just $16, marked down to a brand new low, the deal ends on the 9th and the download is just under 1.5 gigs. Up next we have Blaze Blue Central Fiction The Special Edition, which is a 2D fighting game that offers both local and online multiplayer options. It has a download just under 12 gigs, and with this one you get one of the better story modes found in any fighting game on the console. In fact, this game is part of a very popular series, and they pretty much brought all of the fan favorite features back while expanding the roster to an impressive 30 plus fighters. The environments are amazing, the soundtrack is on point as well, but more importantly, the combat and fighting feel great. 
Right now it's on sale and marked down from the normal $50 all the way to just $12.49. The deal ends on the 16th. Boomerang X is a single player arcade style first person shooter with a 2 gig download and a story that would take roughly 2 to 3 hours to wrap up, but again it does have a ton of replay value. It's a fast paced game where you'll be taking out enemies with your boomerang and you can also use it as a way to teleport around and get behind your opponent for a better shot. It is pretty difficult so keep that in mind, but right now you can pick it up for just $4.99 marked down to a brand new low. The deal ends again on the night. Next we have the Borderlands Legendary Collection which is a package of three games including the Game of the Year edition of the original along with Part 2 and the pre-sequel which is set between the events of the first two games. In addition you also get an absolutely insane amount of DLC and bonus content as well and for both longtime fans as well as those who are brand new to the series this is a great place to hop in and you have the added bonus of being able to take it on the go in handheld mode. Again, this is an insane value for the amount of content that you're going to get, and right now it's on sale for just $9.99, marked down to an all-time low. The deal ends on the 9th, but do keep in mind that the download is about 22 gigs. Cassette Beast is a turn-based open-world RPG that offers more than 20 hours of gameplay, and the download is just under 800 megabytes. Now this is basically a monster catcher style game with our main protagonist finding themselves stranded on a strange island filled with weird and dangerous creatures. The unique mechanic here is that you have to record the different monsters onto cassette tapes to then transform into them for the battles. It offers a ton of customization to how you equip each beast as well, so you can play the way you like a bit, and it even offers drop-in local co-op for two players, which again you know, we always welcome here. Once again, there's a ton of content on offer here, and right now it's on sale for just $14.99, matching an all-time low, again until the night. Death's Door is a single-player adventure game with a download around 2.7 gigs and a story that will last roughly 8-10 to 10 hours to wrap up. The atmosphere and music are top-notch here, and the boss battles are unique and challenging. The combat system is amazing, allowing you to blend magic with melee, plus the level design is another highlight. It's a hidden gem that I think it's overlooked. It's a tough game for sure, but if you're up for the challenge, it's on sale for just $7.99, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the night. Death's Gambit The Afterlife Edition is a hardcore single-player action platformer with a download around 1.3 gigs, and the story should last more than 20 hours to finish up. The game has an amazing story with voice acting, and the combat is a ton of fun, Plus, you have a huge open world to explore, and the game gives you seven different classes to choose between, so there's plenty of variety as well. There's even a new game plus mode for more value. Right now, you can pick it up for just $11.99, matching an all-time low. The deal ends again on the night. Disco Elysium The Final Cut is a single-player RPG that was ported to the Switch, and it offers a sprawling story that could last more than 30 hours to wrap up. Once again, the story is fully voice acted, plus the Switch version includes touch controls for those that like to play on the go. Now, it does give you, as the player, the option to play more heroically or just sort of go around being a bully, and the dialogue choices really feel like they make a difference. At the start of every game, you get to pick between a few personality types or make a mashup of sorts. It's a fantastic port and well worth picking up while on sale. Right now, it's marked down 70% to a brand new low at just $11.99, the deal ends on the 9th. The Enter and Exit the Gungeon Bundle is a package of two great indie games developed by Dodge Roll and published by Devolver Digital. With Enter the Gungeon, you have a top-down twin-stick shooter that's incredibly difficult. It offers two-player local co-op and gives us more than 20 hours of gameplay. Now for Exit the Gungeon, they changed things up a bit and went with a 2D twin-stick shooter it's still very difficult and takes place directly after the ending in the story for part 1. Both games are incredible and this is a steal at just $12.99. It's marked down to a new low. The deal ends on the 9th and the download is around 1 gig. The Falconeer Warrior Edition is an open world aerial combat game that gives about 10 hours of gameplay with a download around 1.6 gigs. In this one we get to ride on the back of a warbird shooting down enemies and exploring the vast world for secrets as we work our way through the story. Now the game does offer four unique chapters, however they aren't told in any specific order, 
Instead, they tell the story from the perspective of the four different factions found within the game. And on top of that, they can be completed in any order. The different factions do have their own unique fighters and classes, so they do feel unique enough to make you want to see them all, and you do earn upgrades as well. Right now it's on sale for just $7.49, marked down to a brand new low, and the deal ends on the 8th. Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark is a strategy RPG that offers more than 40 hours of incredible gameplay. The download is just under 2 gigs and the story follows a young Arbiter named Kyrie through a series of battles as we fight to restore peace. The hand-drawn environments and pixelated graphics look great here on the Switch. The gameplay, while complex, never feels overwhelming, and you have more than 20 different classes to fight with and tons of armor or weapons to equip them with. If you're a fan of Final Fantasy Tactics or games in that genre, definitely check this one out before the deal ends on the 9th. It's marked down to an all-time low at just $7.49. Figment 2 Creed Valley is a top-down adventure title that takes place within the mind of a broken man who's battling with his own internal demons. We play as Courage, and it's our job to take out the nightmares that are haunting him. The game offers light puzzle-solving and action-based combat with an all-original soundtrack that's incorporated into the narrative of the gameplay, and it's once again amazing here in the sequel. Overall, I find these games to be very creative. The way they handle their heavier topics and the worlds that they create is outstanding. The main story should last roughly 4-5 to five hours, and the download comes in at about 1.6 gigs. It even offers a limited 2-player option for local co-op. It's a great pickup, and right now it's on sale for just $8.74, marked down to a brand new low, and the deal ends on the 15th. Fist is a single-player metroidvania here on the Switch. The port holds up well, and while the graphics did take a noticeable hit versus the other consoles, the gameplay is just as fun, and fans of the genre should absolutely give it some consideration. The combat is unique and allows you to switch between a few different weapon types on the fly. The story is impressive, and the controls feel pretty solid as well. For those willing to explore a bit, there are a ton of secrets to uncover, and you can expect more than 15 hours of gameplay from the pickup. Right now it's on sale for just $11.99, matching an all-time low until the night. Gordian Quest is a single-player strategy RPG with deck-building elements added in. It offers a ton of replay value and you are rewarded the more that you play. The download comes in at about 3.3 gigs and they offer a few different game modes such as the campaign or adventure mode and they do give you a couple of difficulty options as well for those that find these games to be a little on the tougher side. Now keep in mind there's also a bit of luck involved with dice rolls determining the outcome of events at times, and your decisions do matter to the eventual outcome of the game. Right now it's on sale for just $11.99, matching an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 11th. Grow Song of the Evertree is a massive 3D RPG from 505 Games. It offers more than 30 hours of main story gameplay, and the download comes in at about 2.5 gigs. Now this one puts a heavy emphasis on exploration and the simulation aspects of the game and allows the player to progress through at their own pace. Your job will be to restore the Evertree as it's been reduced to just a sapling at the start of the game. You get to build your own worlds through the different systems that are in place and it's a really peaceful game, but it can also be very addictive, so keep that in mind. If you enjoy the genre, be sure to give this one a look before the deal ends on the 8th. Right now it's just $12.49 and matching an all-time low. Guns Gore and Cannoli 2 is a 2D run-and-gun action platformer and the sequel to another true hidden gem here on the Switch. Now with the sequel, they changed the control scheme a bit, added in new features, and even added online play for up to 4 people, making this one of my favorite picks for the week. It has a download just under 2 gigs and offers about 5 hours of gameplay, but there is of course replay value here as well, and just like with the first game, the gameplay loop is a lot of fun, plus the story is top notch and sort of like playing through a Godfather movie or something like that. Right now it's on sale for just $5.19, matching an all time low, the deal ends again on the night. Hunt Down is a 2D run and gun platform shooter. It has a download around 1.2 gigs and should offer about 7 to 8 hours of gameplay, and it does offer a two player local co op as well. In this one, we play as a group of bounty hunters working our way through a corrupt city, taking out bad guys and their bosses. 
The controls are great, the action is intense, and the soundtrack and voice acting are top notch. This is one of my all-time favorite indie games, and right now it's on sale for just $3.99, marked down to an all-time low. The deal ends again on the night. Indivisible is an action RPG here on the console. It offers local co-op for up to four players and comes with a download just under six gigs. It features hand-drawn art and animations and offers more than 20 hours of gameplay that combines great storytelling with real-time combat mechanics, and we follow a young woman as she attempts to protect her home from invasion. Now she has special powers that allow her to conjure up versions of the people she's met on her journey, and then they can help fight alongside us. It's a cool and unique game, and right now it's on sale for just $7.49, matching an all-time low. The deal ends on the 8th. Infernax is an incredibly challenging action platformer with a retro aesthetic. It has a download a little under 400 megabytes, and this one offers two-player local co-op as well. What's cool is the game gives you choices as you play through, and they can actually affect the rest of the game. You have different skills to pick between, which you'll earn through gaining experience, and on top of that, as you play through, you pick up coins that you can use to upgrade weapons and armor, so there is a good bit of variety to how you tackle the game. Now, I have to stress this is definitely one of the tougher games in the genre, so be prepared for that. If you're cool with that and you're up for the challenge, right now you can pick it up at an all-time low, just $13.99. The deal ends on the 8th. Inscription is one of the best indie games in its genre, which at its core is a deck-building adventure or strategy roguelike, but it offers so much more than you might expect at first glance. It's a 1v1 match with a mysterious figure, and as you work your way through the roughly 15-hour story, you'll travel through several different worlds that he creates for you while facing off in the main card game. Now, at the start of every new round, you're dealt new cards, and you just need to deal enough damage to win and move on. It's a truly unique game, and one I think fans of deck builders should definitely check out. Right now, you can pick it up for just $9.99, marked down to half price and an all-time low. The deal ends on the 9th, and you need about 4 gigs for the install. Knight vs. Giant The Broken Excalibur is a newer action RPG from Gambier Studio. It has a download around 1.5 gigs and offers a unique twist on a story many of us know, or at least have heard about in passing. We follow the wizard Merlin and the Knights of the Round Table after the Knights meet their untimely death, where Merlin tries to revive the king, while at the same time banishing the giant that killed them, and ends up transporting the whole kingdom into an astral dimension. Now the core gameplay is basically an action roguelike where we take control of Arthur, and along the way you'll get special powers from the different knights, and depending on which weapon you choose, the combat varies quite a bit. The maps are procedurally generated, so no two runs will feel the same, and this is another game I would highly recommend if you haven't played yet. Right now it's on sale for just $14.99, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 9th. Lunark is a single-player sci-fi platformer with an extremely retro aesthetic. It reminds me a lot of games like Flashback or Another World. If you played older games from the 80s, you'll know what I mean when I say the movement and controls do take a little getting used to, and you may die once or twice while doing so. You'll also have a ton of NPCs to interact with, and these conversations provide a lot of lore and backstory for those that are willing to listen. Of course, you have the amazing cutscenes to push you along until you get back into action. It's a really cool game with a unique look, and right now it's on sale for just $9.99, again marked down to half price and a new low. The deal ends on the 9th, and the download is just under 200 megabytes. Mundili is a unique single-player RPG with a retro look and feel to it. Our main protagonist accidentally falls into an underground kingdom called Dargrat, and from there you'll have to interact with the NPCs and other creatures that you find in this new world while going out and completing quests that they'll give you. What's cool is that while the game has the same ending no matter what you do, the events that take place in order to get there can change up quite a bit with each playthrough, and there are some secrets and collectibles to find as well. Overall, it's a fun game, and right now it's on sale for just $5.99, marked down to half price with the deal ending on the 9th. You need about half a gig for the install. Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom is one of the better indie platformers on the console, in my opinion. It's been around for a while and gives the player a unique story with fully animated cutscenes and all original music. 
The gameplay offers a ton of variety, and that's mainly due to the way that you can shift into different animal forms, which alters the gameplay mechanics, and you'll use this for combat and exploration through the roughly 15 to 20 hour story. Now, if you still haven't played this one, I would highly recommend picking it up. Right now, it's on sale at just $9.99, bringing it back to an all-time low. The deal ends on the 4th, and the download is just over 5.5 gigs. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom The Prince's Edition is a bundle that includes the base game and the expansion DLC, as well as some special in-game items only found as part of this package. These games have incredible stories and part 2 follows a young king on a quest to reunite the land and fight off an evil force. Now, the presentation is what makes these games truly impressive, with graphics that feel more like they were made for an animated movie than a game, and the music is incredible, it connects right to your emotions. This is an absolute steal right now, you get more than 30 hours of gameplay, and you can pick it up at an all-time low, just $9.59 with the deal ending on the 9th. You'll need about 11 gigs for the install. Ocho is a wild top-down twin-stick shooter with a unique art style and it's a brand new release for us here on the Switch. It offers more than 100 different randomly generated rooms to wreak havoc through and requires lightning quick reflexes. Now you can slow time for a short bit and that does help out but enemies are relentless in this game and it's no joke. It's been kicking my butt since I picked it up non-stop. You do have a bunch of different weapons, and between the areas you can stop at the bar and pick up a drink. This will give you a specific buff depending on which one you do go with. The soundtrack is another highlight, it's outstanding, and right now you can pick this one up for just $11.99, mark down 20%, and the deal ends on the 12th. The download is around 750 megabytes. Code is a puzzle-style adventure game with a main story that will take around 4-6 to six hours to complete, and it's available for one or two players in local co-op. In fact, this game was designed with co-op in mind, and it really is a blast if you have a friend or a family member to play with. It's a story about a rock and a fallen star, solving puzzles together in a stunningly beautiful world. You'll explore an ancient cave system to uncover its hidden secrets, and you can even combine the two characters' special moves together to overcome the tougher puzzles. Now, as I said, it was designed with co-op in mind, but if you don't have anybody to play with, it is still a great time. Right now you can pick it up for just $12.49, mark down to half price, the deal ends on the 3rd, and the download is around 3 gigs. Prison City is another newer release here on the console. It was developed by Retroware and published by Screenwave Media. It offers about 3-5 to five hours of gameplay with a download around half a gig. The gameplay is a lot like older run and gun platform shooters from the early days of home consoles, and while it can be difficult, they have added in a few options to alter that a bit and they can help out if you find the game is just a little too tough. There's also a boss rush mode, and the soundtrack is absolutely top tier. The game is set in the 90s and has us infiltrating a corrupt city. There are a ton of references to older action movies from that era as well, and right now you can pick it up at an all-time low, marked down to just $7.99. The deal ends again on the 9th. The Quake and Quake 2 bundle is a package of two old-school first-person shooters. The games have been updated and enhanced with improved graphics and gameplay mechanics. They also added in some new content, and of course they offer a great online competitive and co-op experience as well. Both games do have cross-play so you can join your friends on other consoles or PC. They run smooth here on the Switch, and you could easily sink dozens of hours into both the campaigns and the online side of things. Now, if you've never had a chance to play these two great games, you can pick up the bundle for just $5.99. It's marked down to a new low. The deal ends on the 9th, and you need a little over 4.5 gigs for the install. Raji and Ancient Epic is a single-player adventure game that has a roughly 6-hour main story. The download comes in at just about 6 gigs. Now, this is an emotional game and tells the story of two siblings that are separated by a great war between the gods and demons. This war has spilled over into their world, and we follow Raji on a quest to reunite with her brother. The graphics are gorgeous, and the combat system offers a lot of depth as well. Plus, the game is set in ancient India, which you don't see too often. If you're interested in picking this one up, make sure to do so before the deal ends on the 3rd. It's marked down 75% to just 624, a brand new low. Sharon the Wanderer, the Tower of Fortune, and the Dice of Fate is a single-player RPG. It's basically a dungeon crawler and it's a port of a game that originally released back in 2010. 
Now the game is incredibly difficult and has permadeath where you can lose everything if you die without having the right items in your inventory, and the dungeons that you'll explore are ever changing as well, so you never quite know what to expect next. The combat is turn based and so strategy comes into play as well, and that goes along with the item management. Luckily though there's an in-depth tutorial and even combat tutorials that you can take advantage of, and they do help out a ton. Right now you can pick it up for just $5.99, mark down 70% with the deal ending on the 9th, you can expect more than 50 hours of gameplay, and the download is around half a gig. Shotgun King The Final Checkmate is a unique single player roguelike based on the classic game chess. It has a download around 100 megabytes and offers a ton of replay value. We play as the king and sadly our team has abandoned us, so we'll have to take out the enemy solo. Now there are a few different game modes and a wide variety of difficulty settings, and of course you get to upgrade your king after each level. It is really a cool indie game, and right now it's on sale for just $8.74, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the fit. Tokoyo The Tower of Perpetuity is a single-player 2D action platformer with a download around 450 megabytes, and it offers a unique experience in that each day the tower you have to climb changes. It's on a 24-hour rolling clock, and everyone playing the game has the chance to tackle the same dungeon for that day. Now the goal is to make your way to the top, avoiding dangerous enemies and the numerous different environmental puzzles or traps that could send you all the way back to the start. There isn't much story to worry about, but the gameplay is a blast, and it looks and runs great here on the console. Right now you can pick it up for just $8.39, mark down 30%, and the deal ends on the 7th. Tormented Souls is a single-player survival horror game that was inspired by all-time classics like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. We play as a young woman named Caroline as she searches for two missing girls. At the start of the game, she wakes up strapped into some sort of medical equipment. From there, the gameplay is a lot like those older games with resource and inventory management, puzzles that you'll have to solve, and of course the combat which sees you really having to make a choice between spending your last few rounds of ammo or running away. The controls and camera system have been updated, but you can put on old school tank controls if you'd rather play that way. Right now you can pick it up at an all-time low, just $7.99. You need about 10 gigs for the download, and the deal ends on the 9th. Trek to Yomi is a single-player narrative-driven adventure title, with a download around 4 gigs and a main story that will last roughly 6 hours to wrap up. The unique cinematic presentation makes the game stand out quickly, and luckily the draw to the game doesn't really end there. The story is engaging and the combat is a lot of fun, requiring patience and proper timing for attacks and parries. Now the game does play out as a mostly linear story, but there are some hidden secrets to find for those willing to explore a bit, and there are a few environmental puzzles, but they are few and far between, and they never really require too much thought to overcome. It's an interesting game and right now you can pick it up for just $7.99, marked down to a new low, the deal ends again on the night. Vengeful Guardian Moon Raider is a single-player action platformer with a truly retro look and feel to it. It has a download around 200 megabytes and gives players 8 different stages to tackle in whatever order you'd prefer, and each boss provides the player with a new power-up to use for the rest of the game, much like you would see in older Mega Man games. Now what's really cool is that each of the 8 stages has its own gimmick or playstyle, and they change up things enough to keep it fresh throughout the roughly 3 or 4 hours that it should take. It has that amazing 16-bit look to it and even gives the player different modifiers that you can unlock, which add things like less damage, or if you're crazy you can even turn on one-hit kills, so every enemy becomes incredibly dangerous. If you're interested in this one, right now you can pick it up for just $11.04, a new low price, and the deal ends on the 8th. Always Legacy, which is a retro-themed Metroidvania from Elden Pixels, it offers around 10 hours of gameplay, and the download is just over 1 gig. Now this is the second game in the series, and they've improved almost every aspect of the game with the sequel. It feels much better getting around the map, and you now have warp points that you can place down to help deal with excessive backtracking. You still want to explore though, as there are a ton of secrets to find. Parts of the game might challenge you a bit, but overall it's not too bad when it comes to difficulty either, and right now it's on sale for just $8.09, marked down to a brand new low, the deal ends on the 8th. Blazing Chrome is a run-and-gun action platformer. Again, this one has a retro design to it. A full playthrough of the game should take roughly 4-5 to five hours, but there is a good bit of replay value here, and the game offers two-player local co-op as well. 
the arcade style of gameplay and the incredible soundtrack definitely helped the game stand out versus other games in the genre, and one of the highlights for me were the outstanding boss battles. Now it is a tough game, it reminds me a lot of the older Contra games, however they do give you a few difficulty settings to help out. Right now it's on sale for just $6.70, matching an all time low, the deal ends again on the 8th and you need about 150 megabytes free for the install. Blossom Tales 2 is a top-down Zelda-like here on the Switch. It's an impressive follow-up to The Sleeping King, and once again puts players into a massive open world with environmental puzzles scattered everywhere. You have a few different dungeons to explore with secrets and gadgets to find, and many of them will be needed to work through the story or access new areas of the map. If you've played older Zelda games, you'll feel right at home with the combat and how the bosses work. It's absolutely a love letter to those games, and with this one you can expect more than 10 hours of gameplay. Right now it's on sale for just $8.99, matching an all-time low, the deal ends on the 11th, and the download is around 325 megabytes. Bright Memory Infinite The Gold Edition is one of the better first-person shooters here on the console. It feels a lot like playing through a two-hour action film from the point of view of the main character. The weapons feel great and it combines melee combat with first-person shooting, it runs smooth here on the Switch and even though it's a shorter game, it has some incredible moments with epic boss battles and memorable set pieces. Right now you can pick it up at an all-time low, marked down to just $13.99 with the deal ending on the 7th. The download comes in at just over 2.5 gigs. Cathedral is a retro-themed Metroidvania that offers about 10 to 15 hours of gameplay. It's one of the tougher games in the genre, so do keep that in mind if you plan to pick it up. It's an homage to the older days of 8-bit gaming. It does feel good as far as the controls are concerned. The visuals and sound design are on point for the era that they're trying to emulate. If you are a fan of these kind of games, it's worth picking up no question. It may frustrate others though as it doesn't hold your hand at all and never really lets up until the end. Right now it's on sale for just $674 marked down to a brand new low. The deal ends on the 8th and the download is just under 200 megabytes. Koromon is a top-down adventure title that plays a lot like older Pokemon games. It features a main story that will take more than 30 hours to finish and has a download around 650 megabytes. On top of that, it offers multiplayer online for two people as well and features turn-based combat, a massive open world with gorgeous pixel art graphics, and it gives players the ability to play their own way with a ton of customization options. Overall, there's just a ton of content on offer. Right now it's on sale for just $9.99, marked down to half price with the deal ending on the 11th. Dark Devotion is a really intense action RPG with a Souls-like feel to it, and it offers nearly 20 hours of main story gameplay on average, with a download just under 1 gig. The pixel art is again impressive here on the Switch, and the combat is a lot of fun, plus the controls feel tight and responsive, which is really important with this game as you'll need precise timing while in battle. You have weapon and armor upgrades, secrets you can unlock, and a gripping story making this a great value. Right now it's on sale for just $5.99, matching an all-time low. The deal ends again on the 8th. Doom Eternal is back on sale, and by now I'm sure it needs no introduction, but both of the ports here on the Switch are absolutely fantastic, with the only major downside for this one being that it requires over 30 gigs for the install. Of course that means you will need an SD card in order to play the game. Now the action and difficulty were ramped way up with this entry and it rarely gives you time to breathe, it's just pure demon slaying the way only the Doom guy can do it. It runs great here on the console and being able to play it on the go of course is amazing. The online multiplayer returns although I would say it's a bit of a downward step versus Doom 2016, still though there's definitely some fun to be had either way. Right now it's on sale for just $9.99, matching an all-time low, the deal ends on the night. Evil Tonight is a retro-themed survival horror game from DYA Games, and they always do a great job here on the Switch. This game is no exception. Now it plays a lot like older Resident Evil games with puzzles and inventory management, plus ammo is limited as well, so you have to use it wisely. On top of that, there's no map and they really don't hold your hand either, so of course if you played other games like this one in the past, you'll likely get through it a little faster than those that are coming in fresh. It offers about 5-8 to eight hours of gameplay, and the download is under 200 megabytes. 
Right now it's on sale at an all-time low, marked down to just $11.99. The deal ends on the 4th of next month. Streets of Rage 4 is widely considered to be one of the best beat-em-ups here on the Switch. It offers four-player local co-op, and you can take the action online with two-player co-op as well. The download is around 4 gigs and the replay value is through the roof with this title. It manages to revive that old school feeling while bringing modern day quality of life enhancements to the gameplay. Now of course you have the 4 classic characters making a return along with several others that you can choose between or unlock while playing through and the game looks gorgeous here on the console. It was a long wait for fans to get part 4 but it was well worth it and right now you can pick it up for just $12.49 again marked down to an all time low. The deal ends on the 8th. Ease Origin is an updated version of the 2006 Japanese action RPG. It has a download around 2.5 gigs and offers more than 20 hours of gameplay. You have 3 playable characters with unique skills, 4 different game modes, and multiple difficulty settings as well. And on top of that, the port here on the Switch runs great, and being able to play it on the go is always a plus. The soundtrack is top of its class and this is a great way to hop into the series if you've never played before as it is very friendly to newcomers. Right now it's on sale at an all-time low, it's marked down to just $5.99, the deal ends again on the 8th. Alright everyone, here are a few other great deals to check out while you're already on the eShop. get you home but you know what being here means right it's a dream world it's a world between life and death <laughs>
thinking about anything. All right, everyone. Thank you all for watching and hanging out. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if this was your first time here. And I'll see you on the next one.